most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. So Dan, we were talking about some of the snow coming to the states north of us, but we're going to miss out on that. This is probably the defining snowstorm of the season, at least according to some New England meteorologists. And yeah, we're just a little bit too far to the south, but there will be some snow showers here locally. So if you're into that and maybe just a little taste of winter without being fully involved, that's what we have in store. Today's high only 42 degrees. Normally we should be closer to 50. So if it felt chilly today, that's exactly the case. I mean, truly winds out of the north, a lot of cloud cover, whether it's Wormleysburg, Wrightsville, Middletown, all seeing some of those residual clouds and radar looks busy, but a lot of this is not reaching the ground at the moment. So some light snow showers likely pushed through in the upper levels of the atmosphere and then evaporated before it could get to the ground. Now, as we go ahead over the next few hours later tonight and even tomorrow, there could be more development in terms of light snow showers locally, but in terms of any accumulation, it's simply not enough. Plus, when we look at temperatures, even though it's low 40s, it is still too warm to get much happening in terms of snow. It would have to snow very, very hard to overcome this milder air near the ground. I know it doesn't feel mild, but it's just enough. Temperatures stay in the middle to upper 30s overnight. Winds either out of the east or northeast as we really start to see things take shape not only to our west, but eventually to our east. So there's a big upper level system out here of the Great Lakes and a lot of action along the coastline. So we're actually seeing the at least first couple pieces here to what's going to become a large nor'easter again taking off to our east and northeast some impact locally in terms of wind some snow showers but watch this we take a big look here what happens over the next 24 hours all this moisture coming up along the coastline this transfer of an area of low pressure to the west to all of a sudden this big area of low pressure developing to our east and northeast and this is a large shield of snow for interior New England, possibly to some of the coastal areas, including New York City. But the question is, how far south does this begin to reach into Tuesday? The storm begins to back up a little bit and stall into New England. And notice we're right on the edge. So we'll get some clouds, we'll get some wind, but in terms of any big time accumulations, we are just too far to the south in terms of the snow shower activity. So heading into Monday, some scattered light snow showers at times, some rain mixing in too, can't rule out a few areas of drizzle, temperatures near 40 degrees, and this just keeps going into Tuesday. A little bit more sunshine perhaps at times into Tuesday as the cloud shield stays to our northeast, but still enough clouds to keep things relatively overcast at times. That chance of a few snow showers, and if any accumulations possible, possibly northern Dolphin County, northern Lebanon County, and then upwards toward the Poconos. Again, locally, we're just on the outside of another big storm system taking place. And once it moves out, temperatures go back close to seasonal averages Wednesday, Thursday, getting back into likely 50 degree territory, if not higher by Thursday, 60 by Friday. Next weekend, a little bit cooler, but chances for rain rather than snow late Friday into Saturday. Nick, over to you. Dan, Penn State 